The right to free speech is a long-standing staple of American politics, but what if protesting came at a cost? Jackie Roberts talked to local experts about what could happen if people eventually have to pay to demonstrate in the nation's capital. Jackie. Sean, it can cost government agencies thousands of dollars when a protest group or demonstration comes to town. That's something Washington, D.C. handles on a regular basis. And now they're asking the question, should those involved have to take part in the bill? Every year, Washington, D.C. draws millions of demonstrators from across the country, including some from Erie. But changes could be on the horizon for protest groups. Multiple reports indicate the National Park Service is considering having demonstrators in the nation's capital pay for the cost of providing law enforcement services and other necessary resources. It seems to me that a fee that would prohibit uh, people from gaining access to the National Mall uh, is just one more, uh, one more attempt to curb uh, free speech in the United States. The National Park Service reportedly issues about 750 permits a year for demonstrations within the National Mall and at nearby parks. The president of Erie's Keystone Progress chapter describes the concept as another tactic to discourage freedom of speech. In a written statement saying, quote, the impoverished community who need the most help will be silenced and depressed again. The battle has always been the top versus the bottom. Dr. Joe Morris with Mercyhurst University says some state governments already have similar regulations in place. As long as they're done in accordance with uh, established rules, rules that have been established by our justice system, our legal system, those ten tended to have been seen as okay by the courts. The cost of law enforcement and other support services can cost up to $500,000 at larger rallies. And experts tell us this conversation about implementing a fee has been around for months. Sean. Jackie Roberts in the newsroom tonight. Thank you, Jackie.